Mahabhuta Vivekaha. Chapter 2 The Differentiation of the Five Elements. Text 1 Sadadvaitang Shutang Yatat Panchabhuta Vivekataha Bodhung Shakyang Tatobhuta Panchakang Pravivichyate. Brahman, who is, according to Shruti, the non-dual reality, can be known by the process of differentiation from the five elements. So this process is now being discussed in detail. Compare Chandokya Upanishad 6.2.1 Brahman has been said by the Shruti to be the only reality before creation, since this Brahman is beyond mind and speech, that is, bereft of all qualities and adjuncts, it cannot be directly felt like a pot without discrimination. So it must be known by analyzing the creation, which is its adjunct. Hence, the discrimination of the five elements, a part of creation, is being introduced here for the understanding of the disciple. Brahman and its adjunct are so identified that discrimination is necessary to separate the one from the other. Text 2. Shabdaspar shau rupara sau gandho bhuta guna ime ekadvitri chatu pancha guna vyoma dishukramat. The properties of the five elements are sound touch, color, taste, and smell, in akasha, space, air, fire, water, and earth, the number of properties successively are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Text 3. Pratidvan nirviya chabdo vayau visiti shabdanam anushna sita sangsparsho Vahno bhugu bhugu dvanahi. Echoes arise in the akasha, space, and hence we infer that the property of akasha is sound. Air makes a rustling sound when it moves, and it feels neither hot nor cold to the touch. A fire in flame makes a characteristic crackling sound. In verses 3 to 6, the elements have been classified as they affect the senses. Being on a psychological basis, this classification does not clash with the discoveries of empirical science. It steers clear of both realism and idealism. Text 4 Ushna sparsha prabharupang jale bulu bulu dvanehi Sita Sparsha Shukla Rupang Raso Madhurya Miritam. A fire feels hot, and its color is red. Water makes a characteristic rippling sound. It is cold to the touch. Its color is white, and it is sweet in taste. Bhumau Kadakada Shabda Kanyitang Sparsha Ishyate. Niladikang chitra rupang madhuram ladiko rasaha. The earth makes a characteristic rattling sound. It is hard to the touch. Its variegated colors are blue, red, and so forth. It is sweet, sour, and so forth in taste. Text 6 Surabhi taragandhau dvau. Guna samyag vivechita 
Shrotrang Tvak Chak Shung Si Ji Hua Granang Chendriya Panchakam The earth emits smells, both pleasant and unpleasant. Thus, the characteristic properties of the five elements are well classified. The five senses which perceive them are hearing, touch, sight, taste, and smell. Namaste. So, Advaita and Sankhya have a kind of strained relationship. On the one hand, Advaita needs Sankhya to enumerate the physical elements and other phenomena that one must discriminate from Brahman. On the other hand, Sankhya is atheistic because it bases everything on matter, whereas Advaita is the ultimate theism of Brahman as the absolute truth. So, to love the one, to love the self, is called ananya bhakti. And so, God is actually the self. Myself, yourself, the self of everything. The ultimate self is consciousness. It has to be, because consciousness is the prerequisite for everything else. Without consciousness, there isn't anything. I mean, actually, we can already have nothing in Sushupti, and that's with consciousness. So without consciousness, I mean, it's less than nothing. <laughs> There's no perception at all. So this is the problem, that Sankhya is required as a basis of discrimination, as a field of inference, which is necessary to deduce the existence of Brahman. Because even after we analyze all the material elements and phenomena, there is still something missing. But what is that? Sat Chit Ananda eternal existence, unconditional awareness, and bliss. The elements of the universe cannot give these things because they don't have them. Their existence is derived from Brahman's sat potency. The consciousness of living beings is derived from Brahman's chit potency. And the bliss or pleasure that we get from material things is derived from Brahman's ananda potency. So, without this satchit ananda, the material world is simply a, a dead wasteland, useless, and not enjoyable to anybody. So, this is the thing. The world, even though it has its unpleasant aspects, is built on the principle of enjoyment. There has to be an enjoyer to enjoy it. That's Brahman. So this is the function of discrimination. That discrimination allows us, by analysis, to say, okay, there are all these elements and all these phenomena derived from them in different combinations. But we can see that they themselves are not the source of existence, consciousness, and bliss. Therefore, there must be another source. You see, this is inference. This is reasoning. This allows us to at least theoretically posit the existence of Brahman. And then, of course, we can go in search of it and try to realize it. But what are these five elements and how do they relate to the self? Well, we have another good old chart. The five elements are called Panchabhuta, 
or Mahabhuta. And the first element is space, Akash, which is so-called nothing. Its property is sound, its only property. And the sense that perceives it is hearing through the sense organ of the ears. Then air is the state of matter we call gas. Its property is pressure. It has two properties, sound and pressure. And the sense of touch is what allows us to perceive it. The sense organ for that is the skin. Fire is the state of matter called plasma, ionized gas. Its property is light or color. And it has three properties, sound, pressure, and color. The sense by which it is perceived is sight, and the sense organ is the eyes. Similarly, water is the liquid state of matter. Its property is flavor, and it has four properties, sound, pressure, color, and flavor. And it appears to the sense of taste, which is the tongue. And finally, earth is solid matter. Its specific property is odor but it has all five properties, sound, pressure, color, and flavor as well. The sense by which we perceive it is smell, and the sense organ is the nose. Now these are the classic five elements, or states of matter, of Sankhya Yoga. And from that are derived the 24 tattvas, which we already went over in a previous video. So we're not going to cover it again. But we have to discern or discriminate these five elements and their properties from our perception. Why? In order to analyze the material creation as separate from Brahman, that the creation is perceived and Brahman is the perceiver. There is no other perceiver. There is no perceiver in the material elements. That's why we have to analyze them to see, is there a perceiver in here? No, we don't see it. Therefore, there must be some other thing which is consciousness. Now, of course, the material scientists try to cook up all kinds of bizarre theories, <laughs> phony theories, actually, because there's no proof to any of them that consciousness is some kind of result of material combination. But how is it possible that matter can produce consciousness because matter is not conscious at any stage of its evolution? How can something lacking a certain property manifest that property in some other way? It's not possible. But because Brahman is intrinsically conscious and also self-aware, it can manifest consciousness by reflection in the material elements. So this is clear, and it's provable by anyone, experienced by everyone at every moment, that the consciousness of the self is reflected in the material elements, the mind, the intelligence, the body, the senses, and so forth. Otherwise, how can we explain the fact that we are aware? These are the symptoms of Brahman that we exist without body, without any other attachments. We exist. How do we know we exist? We are aware. We are self-aware. This is the symptom of Brahman. It's called Turiya. And finally, that we enjoy. Even in the absence of the material elements, we enjoy just being the self. And this is actually the unconditional enjoyment of self-realization or enlightenment, which we already have. 
But for some reason, we don't think that's enough. But we have to create this whole material thing just to realize the fact that we exist separately from it. Huh? We exist without the conditioned existence. We exist without the conditioned world. We are Brahman. We are the self. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.